everyone, this is Stephanie here with creatingwithin.com and I wanted to go into three pieces of advice that I have as far as dating and looking for a relationship. A lot of us as humans, we love to be appreciated. You know, we, are all, we all want to be loved, we're all looking for love to be seen, to be recognized and understood in one way or another. And in a relationship, you get that form, that form of appreciation that's coming from this one person whose attention is now yours and they're feeding you all this energy and all this attention and appreciation and admiration and love um, which makes you feel really good and we like that feeling but what happens is a lot of times if you're not good with you, if you haven't checked your relationship with yourself and you haven't um, been able to generate and sustain your own energy what happens to a lot of people and why we have trouble in relationships is because we'll attract another person and we get all this attention from them and we feel great, but then the minute that this person um, starts being a little inconsistent with how they started, for example, this is a conversation I've had with girlfriends in the past and a lot of times the things I hear is like, um, yeah, you know, in my relationship, he was so great at the beginning and he was so consistent and he called me every day and he texted me every day and how are you thinking, how are you feeling? And there's no consistency there and it's kind of has, you know, decreased and followed. Um, so what I say with that is that it's not always, always the same but a lot of times what happens is that you are the type of person that you're not, you're not in touch with your own needs and you're looking to another, whether you are aware of it or not, to sustain this energy, this feeling of appreciation and of feeling good about yourself while this other person is holding you as the object of their attention. But the moment that this person's focus shifts on something else or someone else, um, you feel disconnected and out of control and you feel like, oh my god, why doesn't this person love me? And it's just like a downward spiral where you start questioning yourself and then you start questioning the relationship and he isn't or she isn't how they used to be and you start having all this stuff come up for you and you begin to um, either want to hold on to this person tighter and you don't want to let him go and more fights start happening, more resistance um, and you just start getting yourself in a really toxic relationship. But if you look at the basis of all that, underneath all of that stuff, usually is because you are a person that is not good with you. There's stuff within yourself that you haven't resolved, like neediness, attachments, voids, and they're being projected, they're coming out when you find yourself in a relationship and then all of a sudden you feel like, oh, this person isn't giving me what I want, so I need to try harder and try to get this out of them, when in reality it just means that you're not connected with your own energy and with your spiritual self, which is your soul, and it connects you to everything that is, so you're not generating your own energy. So you feel really good when this other person has their attention on you because they're feeding you that energy. But the moment that that energy isn't there anymore, you're out of control. So you're not sustaining your own energy. So that's one. And two, date a lot. Date, date a lot at the beginning. If, if you really want to find a relationship and you're really looking for something sustainable, date. Date different people, have fun, but don't look at everything as a relationship. Date for a while as you're getting to know different individuals because as you get to know different people and you interact, you number one, you're learning about yourself through your interactions with another. You're learning about what you like about this person, what you don't like. And as you date, you start seeing all these things that you like in all these different people. And you can start putting that together and having a clear picture in your mind's eye of what it is that you really want. Because a lot of times we think we know what we want, but reality is that we really don't. We have like an idea, a basis. We, we have these lists. Some of us are still very into like, you know, we have a look and a, and a um, type of person physically and all these things, which is fine. But getting to the core of what it is that you really need, most of us are not in tune with it until you start meeting people and then you're like, oh my god, this person has all these things that I like. And so you jump into a relationship with them and then you realize 
there's a lot of things about this person I don't like and I need to know. And so that goes into my third step or advice. One step at a time. One step at a time is a key to sustainability. Do not jump into a relationship just because you meet someone and they seem wonderful and you vibe and you have this connection and you have all these things in common and you want to compare these synchronicities and signs from the universe. Um, as tempting as it is, and I'm guilty of it <laughs> because I am known to be very impulsive, it never works little secret it never works <laughs> anything that starts very fast will end just as fast um, so taking your time one step at a time will really help you get clear on is this person really what you want um, because everybody's really perfect at the beginning <laughs> and it's not necessarily that they're not but it's just it, as you take your time with someone you may realize that although there's a lot of things you like about this person there's just some things that you'll learn about them and you can only learn about them through time that could be really big deal breakers that you didn't know and then once you're in a relationship it's a lot harder to to get out of it because you've invested time you've invested emotions um so that's why i say check with yourself make sure you can sustain your own energy that you're clear on your needs and that you're giving yourself the things you need before you try to get it from another Second, date a lot. Date, have fun, take your time with it, enjoy it, and enjoy appreciation from many people until you get really clear on what it is that you want. And then when you think you have found what you're looking for, take your time, one step at a time. Don't rush in to be committed. Don't rush to make a future with this person. Don't rush to give your all and make your life about this person that you now found. Take your time, one step at a time. You'll figure out if they are it. Time will show and um, you can have fun and there's no need to rush because whatever is meant to be will be and it will develop at its time. It could be really fast or it could be really slow, but it has to be on life's time. Not you trying to control the situation and the relationship one step at a time. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that was useful. I will talk to you guys soon and I'm signing off here with creatingwithin.com.